let's look at question number six. And um, and we are given the n's derivatives for a function f, which and um, we are asked to find the first four and the general term for the Maclaurin series for the f. So we know the Maclaurin series is the Taylor series centered at zero. So it will look something like this. And since uh, we already are given how to find the every derivative of the f, it should be pretty easy. So we start with the first derivative as one, and when n equals two, we have f two zero equals negative one times uh, f prime of zero, which is one, which equals negative one. And n equals three, we have f three of zero equals negative two times negative one, which equals two. And if we continue going on, we find that fn of zero equals negative m plus one power times m minus one factorial. So if we just plug it in, that in, we have the general term, which is negative one n to the plus one power n minus one factorial x to the n over n factorial. And we can actually um, cancel off because n factorial is just one times all the way to n minus one times n. But this, the whole thing is n minus one factorial. So we can rewrite n factorial as n minus one factorial times n. Then we can cancel these two off. So just you know that we uh, we do get uh, the first four terms as given, and the general term is negative one n plus one power x to the n over n. All right, now let's get to B. Determine whether Maclaurin series describing a converges absolutely converges conditionally or diverges. So do you, so. The first thing is to remember what are the difference between the three. We have to first find the the series at x equals one, which it is n equals one to infinity. If we plug in x equals one in here, we have x, one to the n is always equals one, so it's negative one and plus one n. And we know this is alternating uh, alternating harmonics, and by the alternating series test, uh, we have this is going to zero and this is decreasing. So we know that this converges. And to find if it's converging that absolutely or uh, at or conditionally, we had to find the absolute value of the series, which comes out to be just harmonics. And we know that diverges. So just, it's just definition. And then we know it converges conditionally. And then let's see, we have another Maclaurin series gx, which is integration from zero to x of f of t dt. This is actually can be pretty easy. So what we have to do is just rewrite f t as a Maclaurin series and take integration of each term, which looks like this. And then we can go on and take the derivative of each term and value that from x to zero like this and then we value it from x to zero and we are done with this question okay so let's get back to d let p n one half represent the nth degree of Taylor polynomial for g about x equals zero and then we have this alternating series our error bound we have that to be less than one hundred so i'm gonna start this here we want to find the alternating series of p4 of one half, which means it's fourth degree, fourth degree, and g one half, which is the uh, real value of the whole series. And for alternating series uh, bound, we know that this error is le less than or equal to the absolute value of the next term. So for the next term, we have the fifth degree term, which is negative x to the fifth over 20. Then we can value it at 1 half to the fifth over 20, which comes out to be 1 over 640, which is less than 500. And we are done.